Go ahead and place the white circle somewhere, maybe just above the middle of your paper, maybe off to one side a little bit, right or left. This is going to be the main skull shape of your deer. So this is the main part of the head. Okay, you can share the circle. If you wanna draw your own circle, that's absolutely fine. But you also need to draw it about this big, around this big, okay? If it's a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, that's okay. So just very lightly trace around the circle and pass it to your partner. Try and keep yours kind of light. I'm darkening mine in, but you don't need to darken yours in. Yes, Gavik? We can finish the background after we make our deer, okay? All right, so like in the picture of the stag deer from Sir Edwin Lancier, the muzzle of the deer is going off to the side slightly. See how the muzzle's pointing kind of at like the seven or eight o'clock direction. If you look at this as a clock, this would be six o'clock down here at the bottom. 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock. So right around there, you're going to make a smaller circle. All right, we are going to connect the muzzle from the bottom circle for the muzzle to the bottom circle of the head. We're also going to create a little bit of length on the muzzle. So I'm going from not quite the top, it's a little bit to the side. All right, so we have the general shape for our head. Now remember, stag deer have very thick necks. I'm gonna show you the picture again. Okay, so when we start the neck, we're going to start from the side of the head, not the bottom, the side. Way over here, if it was clock, three o'clock would be on the side. The other side of the neck is going to start under the muzzle. And it's going to get a little bit wider as it comes down. All 
I'm going to flip back to the picture so you can figure out how long to make your neck. But we're going to go right off the edge of the paper. We're not going to be drawing the entire animal. We're going to be drawing the head, the neck, the shoulders until we come off the paper. So my lines are going to go down to the bottom of my paper. Can you see those there? I'm going to flip back to the picture for you. Okay, if you have a lot of room at the bottom of your paper, I did do a quick drawing of how you can make the legs look. If you have room to show the legs. So if I had drawn a little bit smaller, I would probably have to put the legs in here. So I would start them right up here on the body and bring the leg out forward like the animal is walking. Give it plenty of space because they have very strong legs. So there's my leg in front. And there's my leg back. We're going to leave plenty of room at the top for the horns. So the ears are going to begin on the head. So I just started with the number 11 here. And I'm going to curve out on each side. The head is turned away, so we're not going to start the ear on the same side as the muzzle. We're not going to start that one on the head. It's turned away a little bit, so we're going to start it on the edge of the head. Make sure it's even across. Looks even. And then you're just going to complete the shape. And if you go off the side of the paper, that's great. You go off the side of the paper. Don't make one ear smaller because the edge of the paper is there. We still want them to match. The eyebrow ridge, put your paper down, Charlie. The eyebrow ridge is going to be back by the ear between the muzzle and the ear. And it's just another nice round leaf shape for the eye. I'm going to go to the other side. I have to move that up a little bit. I 
I'm not gonna see all of the eye because their eyes are on the sides of their heads and not in the front. Try and make sure your eyes are even across from each other. Let's see, da, 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 right in there. And we're going to give ourselves, uh, we're going to let ourselves know where the nose is. So at the top of the muzzle. I'm going to make a little curve coming down on each side. It's a pretty wide area. Little curve up on each side. and a really shallow U-shape. Okay, and we are already out of time. I know.